Hey everybody, it's Austin again. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different, kind of related to the Tundra, but more so related to the camper. And more specifically, the camper jack. So as you know, if you've ever had a camper on your vehicle and had a truck, if you have a crank, crank handle jack at the front of your trailer and you open your tailgate, Ooh, you could damage the heck out of that thing. So what I'm doing today is I'm gonna install a side mount um, wheel jack from Harbor Freight that's got the two wheels on it. And I've used this on my John boat trailer and it's worked really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and see how easy it is. And I'll bring you guys along. All right, so as you can see, this is a 1500 pound capacity jack, which is obviously well above the weight of our camper here it's only about a thousand pounds the whole thing so this will be plenty it's got dual wheels which allows it to roll over terrain a lot easier and a side mount crank it's pretty heavy for a weakling like me so you just mount this to the side of your trailer make sure it fits of course lengthwise and then um you got some brackets in here uh, to tie into the other side of the uh, three inch tubing on most trailers. So we're just gonna get it installed real quick and or put together and then we'll install it. All right, so we're in the garage now. We got it shut so we can stay a little bit warm. And I just have the, uh, the jack kind of mounted up right here. Um, I raised it up so that it kind of holds itself. And what I'm trying to do is uh, just determine the best location for it, which they say is close to the front as you can uh, to take the most weight off of the trailer is the best plan. Um, but we have one little issue. So the issue is this side of the trailer doesn't have full um, tubing like the other side of the trailer does. See how it's complete on the back? This side has an opening right here for the wire to travel. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have to fill in the gap here so that our bracketry doesn't pinch that wire. Which is a little bit of a hang up, but we're gonna go ahead and get that figured out. All you have to do is get this set up um, to where you know you have two bolts on top and three on bottom or vice versa, and then um, run your bolts here through it from the outside in this way and then um, put your lock washer put your metal bracket lock washer and then nut on the inside and i'll show you what that looks like so these are the brackets that go on the inside of the tubing right here and then here are the four bolts So you want your lock washers to go with the nuts. And I'm gonna get um, my trailer jack as close to this battery bracket as I can because that's as far forward as I can get. And you're gonna wanna, wanna put these with the C channel facing towards the middle of the trailer. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer. All right, so this is what we got so far. We have the bolts put on with the lock washers and you can see that down here there's a gap between the tongue of the trailer and the back of this uh, bracket because it there's nothing to support it since there's a wire in the way. So I need to come up with a way to tighten that down onto something solid so that uh, this is supported. But if you, if you tighten this down and this and the bottom bolt down, those forces will oppose each other and should keep the, 
the jack tight on there. So I may go ahead and try that and see how solid it is and then see if we need to put something um, in between the bottom of the back bracket. All right, so now we have it put on and it is time to take off the old tailgate denter here in the front. So I think all I have to do is undo these three bolts here and it should come right out. So we'll see what it looks like after uh, I pull it out. All right, so now that we got that installed, we don't have to worry about our tailgate getting all dented up and we have an easy way to move around the trailer with the new dual wheel setup. So if you liked the video, um, like it, comment, let me know what you thought. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.